Argamoon is a nanosatellite that will fly on board NASA's Space Launch System during its first mission, Exploration Mission 1, scheduled for 2019. The satellite has the dimensions of a shoebox, 12 cm by 24 cm by 36 cm in CubeSat terms. It is a 6U. The objective of the Argamoon mission is to provide NASA information about the correct launch vehicle operations through photography. At the time the second stage will release the CubeSats, it will not be able to communicate with the ground anymore. Flying Argamoon in the M1 mission will also be the opportunity to test nanotechnology in the hostile environment of deep space. Argamoon will complete its operations using a proprietary software for autonomous navigation. History The space capsule Orion MPCV is the M1 primary payload. The main focus of the M1 mission is demonstrating the SLS operations. Orion will be injected by the SLS in a translunar trajectory and it will orbit around the Moon, testing the capsule operations according to a future manned mission path. The absence of cargo opened the opportunity for several low-mass CubeSats a class of nanosatellites to be included in the mission as secondary payloads. In September 2015 NASA opened an invitation to tender to take part in the mission with the design of 13 nanosatellites 6U, according to the CubeSat standards. Among the proposals evaluated by the Italian Space Agency, the European Space Agency, and finally NASA, the Argitech proposal was one of the selected spacecraft. Argamoon will be the only European satellite to participate in the mission. Objectives <inaudible> 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 According to the SLS documents that NASA attached to the call, Argitech engineers noticed the inability of the second stage of the launcher to send telemetry during a CubeSat release phase, which occurs a few hours after the release of the primary payload, the Orion capsule. It was this issue that triggered the proposal of a satellite capable out of performing a proximity flight with the release vehicle to take photographs and providing an inspection to confirm the success of operations. Before being injected into a heliocentric orbit because of the lunar flyby, Argamoon will perform a propulsive maneuver to close in a geocentric orbit. The second part of the mission will last a few months up to the natural decay of the satellite. During these months, the satellite will collect telemetry validating the nanotechnology on board the platform in the hostile environment of deep space. Up to now, CubeSats were mainly targeted to Earth observation missions, where the satellite are naturally shielded from radiation by the Earth magnetic field. Satellite configuration Argamoon will have a hybrid propulsion system, monopropellant and cold gas thrusters, to provide attitude control orientation and orbital maneuvering. Primary propulsion, for orbit maintenance during the proximity flight and for a change of the orbit to avoid the lunar flyby. Secondary propulsion, as actuator for attitude control law, since the satellite is too far from the Earth to use the Earth's magnetic field. Another peculiarity of Argamoon is the use of radiation resistant components. The absence of the protection provided by the magnetosphere requires the selection of components that have been designed and tested to withstand radiation. In order to provide detailed photographs of the mission, Argamoon is equipped with a narrow field of view camera to acquire inspection photography. This optical payload is supported by another one with wide field of view to provide images to the onboard computer where an imaging software process them in order to perform autonomous navigation and target fine pointing. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Project and development. In September 2015, Argitech delivered the Argamoon proposal to NASA. The proposal was reviewed and approved by ASI, ESA and then by NASA. The project is coordinated by the Italian Space Agency and the satellite launch is planned for 2019 as a secondary payload of the Exploration Mission 1. Argitech engineers worked in the definition of the mission objectives and phases, the mission analysis, and the configuration of the satellite. The electrical power subsystem, the onboard computer, and the onboard software are designed and developed by Argitech as well, including the imaging software for target recognition and pointing. The selection of the components or units vendors has preferred European companies where available.
Topic see also the 13 CubeSats flying in the exploration mission 1 lunar flashlight will map exposed water ice on the moon near Earth asteroid scout by NASA is a solar sail spacecraft that will encounter a near Earth asteroid BioSentinel is an astrobiology mission Skyfire by Lockheed Martin lunar ice cube by the Moorhead State University CubeSat for solar particles CUSP lunar polar hydrogen mapper lunar map designed by the Arizona State University EQUULEUS submitted by JAXA and the University of Tokyo OMOTE and ASHI submitted by JAXA, is a lunar lander Argamoon, designed by Argitech and coordinated by Italian space agency Cislunar Explorers, Cornell University, Ithaca, New York Earth Escape Explorer CUE3, University of Colorado Boulder Team Miles, by Fluid and Reason, LLC. Florida